Jason left, thank God. But um, he actually headed down to Manchester Center to do an interview with the people at Just for Christmas. Now before we go over there, we're going to give Jason a little bit extra time to get down there. Um, I'd just like to comment on the fact that I'm very disappointed in the Fresno State Bulldogs. You could have done better, and I expect much better things next season because I'm really tired of being let down as a Fresno State fan. You guys work your butts off, and I know that you can do this, so let's get into a good bowl next year. Let's kick the other bowl people's butts, and here's to a better 2011-2012 season. Now to Jason at Manchester Center with the folks from Just for Christmas. Well, thanks, Ash. Now we're here with Just for Christmas in the Manchester Mall. Uh, they'll be open for how long? When do you guys close? Uh, we're we're going to be here until the first of the year. Until the first of the year. So, yeah. so folks, first of the year, you have the amount of time to get here and go visit this wonderful shop. Um, now obviously, Christmas is coming up. We just got a couple days away, folks, so you might want to consider doing that a little bit earlier than the first of the year. But hey, you know, those last minute Christmas gifts, those uh, forgot about folks, you can always, obviously come here as well. Um, now, I'm sorry, what is your name? Anna. Anna. Uh, nice to meet you, Anna. Um, nice to meet you. Now, it's a wonderful, wonderful shop here. Um, I love the work. Thank you very and, much. and this is all done here? It's all done here, freehand. We do it right at the spot. So you can come in, order your sign, we'll make it for you really quick, we'll walk around the mall and be ready for you. That sounds great. Gives you more time to do a little bit extra shopping. Exactly. Do all the shopping for the family here, and do some like the little toy shopping down the, down the mall, maybe yeah, do the kids done. with Santa over here. And while a little you're carousel in. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And good to go. Uh, it sounds like a fun deal. Now, uh, what do we have here? Uh, we have here this little deal. It's a little solar light. Come with a welcome sign. We have all kinds of stuff to choose from. Bears, frogs, motorcycles and stuff. And all, those are all personalized for $40. Okay. And uh, what about these signs? Because I know, I mean, obviously there's going to be different rates. These are different sizes. But um, is there any particular standard? We well, they start at $8. That's what it's really good. Oh. And it just goes up from how much you want to put on it. But an average about $25, $30. We can get a really nice sign for you. And they're all custom made, obviously. All custom made out of redwood, freehand carved. Ooh, nice. And um, is, how long have you guys been in business? We've actually been in business for over 15 years. We're up in Oakhurst. And uh, just this holiday season, we decided to set up in Manchester just for the, the Christmas months. Oh, cool. Um, now, is there any particular information you'd like to give our audience about the business or uh, how to like contact you guys after you guys are closed? Well, we have a website. It's CaliforniaRedwoodSigns.com, and you can order there or go up to Oakhurst off Highway 41 and get a sign made up there. Otherwise, we're here to the first. Well, personally, guys, although, don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of the web, I prefer the drive up to Oakhurst, personally. Yeah, it's so beautiful up there. <laughs> Although, be careful between Coors Gold and Oakhurst during the mother season, guys. Be no. very careful. I see. Yes, <laughs> and we've seen some crazy drivers up there. Um, now, what else do you have here at the, the shop? Well, people? besides that, we have our, uh, our grape trays that are, you know, posters on grape trays. Those are really nice, too. They start at $20. And one of our most popular items is uh, our pillow pets. Uh, they're just uh, the pillow beds that everybody's seen on TV. We have a huge selection here at the store for only 20 bucks. You can't find this huge selection anywhere. You only find a few different kinds, and we have a lot of them here. Okay. And then I've also noticed these potted plants over here. Pardon me, folks. Um, just bring one on. So how much would, would these generally go for? And these do you guys are, make these yourselves? Yeah, we make, a, actually, we have a friend of ours up in Oakhurst that she makes that to you by hand, each rock each one by one, and they're just start about twenty dollars. Oh, nice, nice, definitely. Um, well, are there any other items that they could get, say, on special order that you guys don't necessarily have here, but might have in the Oakhurst shop? Uh, pretty much over th everything that we have here, we have it in the Oakhurst shop, and everything can be custom made the same way. Okay, so if somebody wanted something that you wouldn't normally carry, you guys would still be able to do it because it's all custom. Of course, whatever you want, we can do it. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. And back to you, Ash.
Well, there's some good gift ideas from Manchester Center. Um, so yeah, head down there, take a look. Jason should be back here shortly. But um, before he gets back here, we're going to go ahead and show you um, President Obama's weekly address where he urges the Senate to heed the calls from many of our political leaders. Take a look. This week, Congress passed and I signed into law an essential economic package that will help grow our economy, spur businesses, and jumpstart job creation. Instead of a New Year's Day tax hike on the vast majority of Americans, two million Americans who've lost their jobs through no fault of their own will now know with certainty that they won't lose their emergency unemployment insurance at the end of the month. Eight million college students who'd otherwise face a tuition hike next semester will continue having access to the American Opportunity Tax Credit. 12 million families with 24 million children will benefit from extensions of the Earned Income Tax Credit and Child Tax Credit. And millions of entrepreneurs who've been waiting to invest in their businesses will receive new tax incentives to help them expand, buy new equipment, or make upgrades, freeing up money to hire new workers. This package, which is so important for our economy at this pivotal time, was the product of hard negotiations. Like any negotiations, there was give and take on both sides. But I'm heartened by our ability to come together to do what's best for middle class families across this country and for our economy as a whole. Before Congress breaks for the holidays, I'm also hopeful we can come together on another urgent national priority. And that is the New START Treaty that will reduce the world's nuclear arsenals and make America more secure. 25 years ago, the Soviet Union and the United States each had about 25,000 nuclear weapons. In the decades since, that number has been reduced by over 70 percent. And we've had on-site inspections of Russian nuclear facilities. That progress would not have been possible without strategic arms control treaties. During the past year, however, our old treaty with Russia expired. And without a new one, we won't be able to verify Russia's nuclear arsenal, which would undercut President Reagan's calls to trust but verify when it comes to nuclear weapons. Without a new treaty, we'll risk turning back the progress we've made in our relationship with Russia, which is essential to enforce strong sanctions against Iran, secure vulnerable nuclear materials from terrorists, and resupply our troops in Afghanistan. And we'll risk undermining American leadership, not only on nuclear proliferation, but a host of other challenges around the world. Ratifying a treaty like START isn't about winning a victory for an administration or a political party. It's about the safety and security of the United States of America. That's why this treaty is supported by both Presidents Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush. That's why it's supported by every living Republican Secretary of State, by our NATO allies, and the leadership of the United States military. Indeed, the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Haas Cartwright, said this week that the military needs this treaty and they need it badly. And that's why every president since Ronald Reagan has pursued a treaty like START, and every one that has been reviewed by the Senate has passed with strong bipartisan support. We've taken the time to get this right. The START treaty has now been under review by the Senate for over seven months. It's gone through 18 hearings. Nearly 1,000 questions have been asked and answered. Several Republican senators have come out in support of ratification. Meanwhile, further delay comes at a cost. Every minute we drag our feet is a minute that we have no inspectors on the ground at those Russian nuclear sites. It's time to get this done. It's time to show the same spirit of common purpose on our security that we showed this week on our economy. It's time to remember the old saying that politics stops at the water's edge. That saying was coined by a Republican senator, Arthur Vandenberg, who partnered with a Democratic president, Harry Truman, to pass landmark national security measures at the dawn of the Cold War. Today, over 60 years later, when we're threatened not only by nuclear weapons, but an array of other dangers, that's a principle we must continue to uphold. Thanks, and have a great weekend.